new music industry podcast, and I'm David Andrew Let's dig in. When you saw the title for this podcast episode, you probably assumed it would be about motivation. You're partially right. What I really want to dig into today has to do with what people say about the projects you're working on. As I did a bit of reflecting on my famous late night walks recently, I realized something important. If you're a multi-talented person, there's a good chance someone will say something along these lines at one point or another. What are you doing? And why are you doing it? I've certainly had people say that to me before. I think it's because over the years I've developed many skills and talents. And I also happen to be bilingual, so it would be easy for people to say I should be doing one thing over another. Some people say I should be dedicating most of my time to music, and others say I should take up a job as a translator. Whenever people used to say things like that, I would take a close look at what I was doing to evaluate whether it was serving me. And honestly, I probably spent too much time thinking about it and worrying about what other people thought of me. Now, don't get me wrong. People are typically well-meaning when they question your direction because they see your potential. And it feels good when other people see your potential and think you might be good at a variety of things. But now I realize questions like this may actually be a sign you're on the right path as opposed to being on the wrong one. Ultimately, only you can know what your reasons are for doing what you do. In my case, there were a lot of people that thought I should probably just be making more music, which is something I did a lot of over the course of 12 years or more. But I wanted to write books and build a business, so naturally I think a lot of people looked at me a little bit weird when I said that was my vision and goal. So take a moment and ask yourself, is there something you're doing right now that people are telling you not to do? Your business or music career, perhaps? Is there something else they think you should be doing with your life as opposed to that project? Maybe you are at a crossroads and you need to reevaluate, but maybe, just maybe, you're already on the right path and it would actually be a waste of time for you to think too deeply on this. I'm not saying it's not worth looking at your direction from time to time, and I would suggest doing this at least yearly, but constantly questioning your direction can erode your self-confidence and cause you to lose focus, so you need to ask yourself if it's worth paying that price. I now realize if I had stopped building my business, I would never be presented with the opportunities I have today. The music entrepreneur is growing fast, and had I quit on this path, I would not see the blessings I now see in my life. If you're doing things that appear to satisfy everyone you know, you may be on the wrong path altogether. When you're doing something that rocks the boat, sometimes that's how you know you're onto something. You don't want to be neutral. You don't want to be vanilla. You won't stand out from the crowd doing that. In a sense, you need to make people love you or hate you. So, will you remain steadfast when others think you should be doing something else? Will you press into the why when others question you? Thanks for listening. Make sure to go to musicentrepreneurhq.com for show notes and other goodies. And leave us a review in iTunes to help us spread the word. 